this week we're in California's incredible Eastern Sierra and we're exploring the June Lake Loop. Join me as we chase the shimmering fall colors here. Located less than half an hour north of Mammoth Lakes, the June Lake Loop is a 16 mile drive along State Route 158 that takes you beside crystal blue alpine lakes, towering granite peaks, and groves of aspen that are radiant in the fall. A particularly special time to visit is the annual Leaves in the Loop Autumn Festival every October when the June Lake Chamber of Commerce and local businesses provide a variety of activities from photography workshops to fall themed food and even a free shuttle that takes you to multiple locations rich with the fall leaves. There are four main lakes along the drive and each offers a unique setting with a variety of activities depending on the season. The first lake you encounter starting at the southern entrance of this loop is the namesake June Lake. June Lake is a popular spot for fishing, boating, paddling, and camping in the summer months. There's even a swimming beach on the northeast end of the lake. However, if you just want to enjoy the views, there are multiple pull-offs along the road here. While you're here, make sure to read the historic plaque regarding the legend of June Lake. This area's history is fascinating. Now, after years of illegal gambling here during the 1930s, it's rumored that several slot machines were dropped to the bottom of the lake in the middle of the night before a planned raid by authorities. And many believe they still lay at the bottom of the lake. After enjoying this area's namesake lake, you head through the wonderful little mountain town, which offers multiple lodging, shopping, and dining options. And as you drive, please watch the road. You never know when you might see some of the local wildlife pop out in front of you. Just on the other side of this quaint little town is Gull Lake, and although it's the smallest lake along the loop, this spot is known to have some of the largest trout caught in the area, and as you can see, the fall colors really shine here too. Lake Loop is a wonderful spot to visit year-round. Along with being a great summer destination for fishing and hiking, these empty ski slopes will fill up once the snow arrives in the winter months, but for now I'm enjoying the fall colors here.
As we head out from Gull Lake and past the sea resorts at the base of June Mountain, we'll encounter some of the most beautiful scenic driving in the area. Sections of this road are lined with quaking aspen trees that absolutely glow in the fall months. The next stop along our journey today is Silver Lake, which might be my favorite spot along this drive for fall colors. At the southern edge of this lake is a small pull-off with a large aspen grove on the edge of the lake that's sure to impress. At the north end of the lake is the historic Silver Lake Resort, which has been welcoming guests and anglers since 1916, and it's one of the oldest fishing retreats in the region. Not only is Silver Lake home to some of the best fishing and boating along this loop, but it's also where you find the trailheads for some incredible hiking. Rush Creek Trail takes you to more alpine lake views and even provides access to the John Muir Trail and Pacific Crest Trail. In between Silver Lake and Grant Lake is the trail to Lower Rush Creek Loop. The last stop along our adventure today is Grant Lake. This is the largest of all four lakes and it's also a reservoir for the Los Angeles aqueduct system created in 1916 when Rush Creek was dammed at three miles long. It's a popular spot for water sports like jet skiing, water skiing and wakeboarding. As you may have guessed, fishing is popular here. In fact, motorized watercrafts are limited to 10 miles an hour before 10 a.m. in order to accommodate morning anglers. Thanks so much for joining me today. And for more information on June Lake Loop, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com where I also have a full travel guide with some of my favorite Eastern Sierra spots. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go.
Bye.